大家主日平安，欢迎你们再次的出席我们今天早上的线上聚会。让我们这个时候，我们一起站稳我们的位置，站立起来。我们让上帝的喜乐充满在你的生命，充满在你的家庭里面。我们一起来赞美我们的万军之耶和华。跟着我一起拍手，领受天堂来的喜乐，那是我心中最大的力量。我感受你奇妙大爱，在我生活中常与我同在。领受天堂来的喜乐，那是我心中荣耀的盼望。我感受你大能力量。平静我心中极大的风浪，哈利路亚！你永远居住在我心中，我心不再忧愁失望，因你是我生命力量，哈利路亚！我要欢呼歌颂你神。喜乐现在降临，充满我心。领受天堂来的喜乐，那是我心中最大的力量。我感受你奇妙大爱，在我生活中常与我同在。领受天堂来的喜乐。那是我心中荣耀的盼望，我感受你大能力量，平静我心中极大的风浪。哈利路亚，你永远居住在我心中，我心不再忧愁失望，因你是我生命力量。送你生命，祝天喜乐，现在降临，充满我心。现在降临，充满我心。数天喜乐，数天喜乐。现在降临，充满我心。数天喜乐。现在降临，充满我心。在我心中，我心不再忧愁失望，因你是我生命力量。哈利路亚！我要欢呼歌颂你神明，属天喜乐现在降临，充满我心。天喜乐，现在降临，充满我心。告诉你身边的人说：主天喜乐，现在降临，充满我心。Indeed, we have joy today because Jesus is in our heart, and because of Him, that we can sing, we can laugh, we can live every day in confidence. Thank you, Jesus.
Because of you, I was born again. Because of you, I'm ransomed by your grace. Because of you, my heart has found a home. A Because of you, sins are washed away. Because of you, heaven knows my name. Because of you, You are God over our sicknesses. 
You are God over our challenges. Amen. You are God who will guide us through, who will lead us through, Amen. who will bring us through our obstacles of life today. Yes, Lord. And today we want to commit it unto you because you are our God. You are our Savior. And we can look to you in confidence and call you our God. Amen. Father, we commit unto you today. Lord, whatever challenges, oh Lord, that we may face, whatever struggles, oh Lord, that we are having, we want to surrender it unto you. And we commit it unto you. Lead us through. Father, we give thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning, church and friends. Welcome to the first service of 2021. 教会早安，弟兄姐妹、朋友们，大家早上好，欢迎大家出席我们2021年第一场的线上崇拜。It's a new year, it's a new beginning. 是崭新的一年，崭新的开始。And let's open our hearts to God and let His light and glory shine upon us. 让我们敞开我们的心房，让神的荣耀和他的光芒照耀我们的心房。You know, the year 2020 will always be remembered as a year of the global pandemic. It's a year of great disruptions. And it's a year of impact of gains and losses. But what about 2021? What will 2021 hold for each one of us? What does God's word have to say about us? Living in these last days. And that's why for the next two weeks, we want to focus our heart, prepare our heart on the vision of moving strong. As we move on with God, we should not get weaker and weaker, but stronger and stronger. And so no matter what challenges and problems you are facing, we pray that God will cause you to get stronger and stronger in Him. 因此，不管你在生命当中在面对怎么样的一个挑战或者难题，我们祷告说神会让你越来越刚强。And so I want to share with all of us that, uh, this week we're going to talk about personal restoration. 那我们要跟大家分享的这个星期就是个人的恢复。How it will help us to move strong with God. 祂如何帮助我们在主里面越来越刚强。And next week we want to talk about. Uh, the restoration of God's church for God's purpose. How we can move strong with God. So next week we will talk about missional restoration. I remember in January 2020 in Bangkok, my wife and I received a prophecy. 我记得在2020年的1月的时候,我的太太和我在泰国那里领受了一个预言。So this was before we, we realized that there is something called COVID. 这是我们还没有知道有新冠肺炎疫情的时候就领受的。And the prophecy was that God will restore my wife and my time with our son. 这个预言讲到说上帝他会复苏我妻子和我还有我儿子之间的那个时间 That God will add back to us all the lost time 神他将会加添给我们我们所失去的时间 That we will have a lot of quality time, quality time with our son 我们将会有一系列很有素质的时间跟我们的孩子在一起 At that time we just receive it by faith 那时候我们凭信心的领受 We had no idea that it will happen uh, in 2020. So when COVID happened, the prophecy was fulfilled. We had lots of amazing and wonderful family time. You know, when God promised you something, God will deliver His promise. 你知道吗？当神应许你一些事情的时候，他必然要成就。So I want to ask you, how was your year of 2020? 那我要问大家，你的2020年过得如何呢？ 
Was it a good year or a bad year? 它是一个美好的一年还是很糟糕的一年呢 ？Was it a year where you have gains or losses or a mix of both? 你在二零二零年是有许多的收益，还是有很多损失，又或者说两者并行呢 ？I believe all of us have a mix mixture of gains and losses. 我相信说我们当中都许多人都是两者都有的。But the truth is this. 那真理是 ，twenty twenty is over. 二零二零年过去了。Now we have stepped into twenty twenty one. 我们已经踏入了二零二一年。So let us look to God and His Word. For his promises, 让我们来仰望神，他还有他的话语，他的还有他的应许。And so we're going to look at the book of Joel chapter two. 我们将会来看约珥书第二章。And especially Joel chapter two, verse twenty-five to twenty-seven. 第二十五节到二十七节。And so the Bible says in verse twenty-five, this is God saying, "I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten." The great locusts and the young locusts, the other locusts and the locust swarm, you know, my great army that I sent among you. 第二二十五节里面讲到说，那些年所吃的，我要补还你们。我打发到你们中间的大军队，就是蝗虫、男子、蚂蚱、蚬虫。And God says, "You will have plenty to eat." Until you are full, and you will praise the name of the Lord your God, who has worked wonders for you. Never again will my people be shamed. 你们必多吃而得饱足，就赞美为你们行奇妙之事耶和华你们神的名。我的百姓必永远不致羞愧。Then you will know that I am in Israel, that I am the Lord your God, and that there is no other. Never again will my people be shamed. 你们必知道我是以色列中间，又知道我是耶和华你们的神。在你，在我以外，别无别无他神。我的百姓必永远不致羞愧。We're gonna look and and discover God's word and God's promise of restoration for us today. 那今天我们将会来探讨神的话语，神的应许，关乎于。恢复我们 ，and that restoration begins with personal restoration. 而这一份复苏将会从我们自己个人开始。God wants you to be at peace with Him. 我们的神要我们跟他一起是是能够得着平安。God loves you. He cares for you. 因为他爱你，他在乎你。He wants to lift you up in His hands. 他将他要用他的手来将你举起。He wants to restore you and me personally. 他要我，他要复苏你和我这。Let us pray together. 让我们一起来祷告。Lord Jesus, we thank you for your word. 主耶稣，我们感谢神你的话语。Let your word fill our mind and our heart today. 让神你的话语充满我们的心怀意念。Let it give us strength in our spirit. 使它能刚强我们里面的灵。Faith in our hearts. 我们的心。And with our eyes being able to see what you see. 让我们的眼睛能看见神你所看见的。Bless us right now, Lord. 祝福我们。As we Spend time in your word. 当我们来研读神的话语。In Jesus' name, we pray. 奉耶稣的名，我们祷告。Amen. Amen. So today, I want to talk about personal restoration. 那今天我们将会来讲到的就是个人的恢复。In other words, that God will restore us personally. 换句话说，就是神他会来恢复我们个人。So today, the message title is personal restoration. 那今天的主题就是个人的恢复。Now. The first thing that we realize that God wants to restore to us is what we have lost. 那首先第一件事情，神要恢复我们的是我们所失去的。I want to tell you today that God will restore what you have lost. 我今天要告诉你们说，神他会去补还你所失去的。If we lose bad things, we don't want to get it back. 如果我们失去的是不好的事情的话，<笑>那我们肯定不想要得回。Bad situations， 一些很不好的状况。Bad memories， 不好的回忆。Let let those things be lost. It's okay. 我们让那一些东西就这样子流失，没关系的。But you know, God want to restore to you what is good. 但是神他要恢复给你的是好事。He want to restore to you joy. 他要把你的喜乐恢复给你。He want to restore to you his peace. 他要把平安恢复给你。His love. 他的爱恢复给你。His encouragement. 他的鼓励。And maybe you feel a lack of confidence. God wants to restore to you his kind of confidence. 也许你觉得说你没有自信心，那上帝要恢复神的自信心在你里面。So you can be more than who you are today. 
，使到你可以成为你所超乎你想所想象的。So let's receive what God says in verse twenty-five. 让我们来领受神在二十五节里面告诉我们的话语。God says, "I will repay you." 神的话语告诉我们说，我要补还你们。I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. 我要补还你们那些年所吃的。You know when God says He will repay, it really means that He will pay back or restore. 当神说他要补还的时候，他是真的会还给我们，或者他会复苏给我们。So what have you lost, my friends? 那朋友们，你失去的是什么呢 ？You know God wants to restore to you. 那神他要补还给你。Whatever that is good. So when we look at verse twenty-five, God says, "I will repay you for the years." 在二十五节里面说到那些年所吃的，我要补还给你们。Lost years. 那些所失去的年岁。That speaks of lost time. 它就意表着说我们失去的时间。Maybe the lost opportunities. 又或者我们失去的机会。So perhaps 2020 was a time where you have lost opportunity to to do many good things. 也许二零二零年你失去了许多的机会，可以让你做很多美好的事。If you're a student, you know you have to postpone your studies, and 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 you know your exam schedule is all in a mess. 如果你是一个有学生的话，那二零二零年的时候，也许你需要延展你的读书时间，你要延长你整个读书的时间，你的考试期、你的读书的期、读读书的时间表都被打乱了。So and maybe for for those of us who are working, you know, it has really changed the the amount of time we have to do productive work. 如果你是工作人士的话，那也有许也许它打乱了你的工作的方式，你的那个很有效工作的时间也被打乱了。So God says, "I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten." 但是神这里要这里说到那一些年蝗虫所吃的，我要补给你们。I want you to to hold on to God's promise today. 我要你紧紧抓住神所给你的应许。今天 ，Don't hold on to what you think or what you feel. Hold on to what God says. And what God promised. 不要抓住你自己心里面所相信的，你自己所感受到的，乃是要紧紧抓住神的应许。And and and so whatever the locusts have eaten, God will give it back to you. 那一些年蝗虫所吃的，神要补还给你。That speaks of lost provisions, lost finance, lost time. 那可能是你所失去的时间，你所失去的供应，你所失去的经济。In other words. My friends, we can trust God to do what He has promised. 换句话说，我们可以信靠神，关乎于他所应许我们的。So as you look at this verse of the scripture, put your finger on that Bible and say, "God, I believe you will repay and and restore to me whatever I lost." 当你在看这个经节的时候，你可以把你的手指指着这个经节，跟神说：“神，我相信你，你必然要补还给我我所失去的。” Because that's God's promise. 因为那是神的应许。Now at the same time, if we read the verse carefully, God says something about the locusts. 那如果你想你真正去详读这个经文的话，你可以看到说神他有解释这个蝗虫。God says that this locust is his great army. 神说，他这一个蝗虫是他的大军队。And God says that the locust is His great army that He sent among you. 就是神所打发到我们中间的大军队。What does that mean? 它意表着什么呢 ？It means that it was God who sent this great army. 就意表着说，这个军队是神所差派出来的。It means that the the losses that we have gone through is actually Because God was working out His purpose. That 意表着说，我们所失去的这一切是神他在想要我们活出他的旨意。That means it was God's will to send the locusts. 就意表着说，是神的意识，是神的旨意，他来差派蝗虫到我们中间。God has a purpose. 因为神他有一个美好的计划。Now His purpose is not to destroy us. 而他的这个计划并不是想要来毁掉我们。His purpose of sending the locusts is more like a discipline. 这个把这个蝗虫大军队拆派到我们中间是要管教我们。
In the book of Hebrews, it actually says that God is our Father who disciplines His children because He loves His children. So even when God allowed us to lose certain things, it was because He acts as a Father who disciplines us. 纵使我们的神他容许我们失去一些的东西，其实是因为他像一个爸爸一样，他在管教我们。And he disciplined not in anger, but in love. 他并不是以愤怒的方式来管教我们，乃是用爱心管教我们。You see, God's discipline is meant to make us stronger. 神的管教是要让我们更加刚强。It's not to destroy us. 并不是想要毁掉我们。And we must understand that. Or else you you'll be very disappointed with God for 2020. Put your trust in the Lord today. God will restore what you have lost. But right now, let us think about the question: why did God send the locusts? You see, the why question is important. It's not just about what happened to us, but why did it happen? So to understand this, let us go back to Deuteronomy chapter 8. Because there God says to His people, way in advance, God gave a warning to His people. For example, in verse 6, God's word says, Observe the commands, the Lord your God, walking in obedience to Him and revering Him. So the Lord for the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land with brooks and streams and deep springs gushing out into the valley and hills. 第七节说到, 因为耶和华, 你神领你进入美地, 那里有河, 有泉, 有源, you see, God wants us to obey Him because He wants us to continue to be sustained in His goodness. So, so verse 8, verse 9 talks about uh, all the plentiful harvest that will happen. All kinds of productivity. All kinds of prosperity. And let's look at verse 10. God says, When you have eaten and are satisfied, praise the Lord your God for the good land He has given you. You know, many times for us, after we have eaten, we, we, want, we feel sleepy and we never thank God, but we go to sleep. <laughs> we should praise God. Whenever God bless us and add to us in big ways or even in small ways, be thankful and give praise to God. You know, when you are thankful to God every day, it's difficult for you to fall away from Him. So please make giving thanks a normal part of your life. Because it has a spiritual value. It will lift you up in your spirit. It will strengthen you in your heart. Your face will have a glory of God. You can walk with confidence in God. Don't forget God. So the warning in verse 11 says, 第十一节里面讲到神的警告, Be careful that you do not forget the Lord your God. 你要谨慎免得忘记了耶和华你的神, 
Otherwise, the problem is this in verse 14. This that if, if we forget God, our heart will become proud. And we'll forget the Lord our God. Many times it happens to many people. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 17 to 20 says, God says, You may say to yourself, My power and the strength of my hands have produced this wealth for me. But remember the Lord your God, because it is He who gives you the ability to produce wealth. And verse 19 says, If you ever forget the Lord your God and follow other gods and worship and bow down to them, I testify against you today that you will surely be destroyed. 第十九节里面讲到说，你若忘记耶和华你的神，随从别神，侍奉敬拜，你必灭亡。So you know God wants to restore to us what we have lost. 你知道吗？神他要来是补回给我们所失去的。But many times we lost the good things of God because we have forgotten God. 但是许多时候，我们我们失去了神为我们预备那美好的事情，是因为我们忘记了神。So remember, 所以记得 that God is the one who can bless us. God is the one who can take away as well. 神是那一个赐福的，也是那个收取的。But just as God is sovereign, and just as God allows crises in our lives, God will also completely restore what He promised. 但是要记得说，神他是至高无上的，他容许危机临到我们的生命，同时他也会复苏我们，完全的复苏我们，按照他的应许。And that's why Joel chapter two verse twenty three to twenty four says. 这就是约尔书第二章二十三章二十四节里面说到。Be glad, people of Zion, rejoice in the Lord your God, for He has given you the autumn rains. 西安的民啊，你们要快乐，为耶和华你们的神欢喜，因他赐给你们何宜的秋雨。Why? Because He is faithful. 为什么呢？因为他是信实的。And and God sends you abundant showers, both autumn and spring rains, as before. The threshing floors will be filled with grain. The vats will overflow with new wine and oil. 因为他为你降下甘霖，就是秋雨、春雨和先前一样。何尝必满了麦子、酒和新油，必有新酒和油盈溢？What a wonderful promise of God! 这是神何等美好的应许。Is a promise that God will restore abundantly and wonderfully. 他这个应许是应许着神，他必然很丰盛的来恢复我们，很奇妙的恢复。Joel two twenty six, God says, "You will have plenty to eat until you are full." 约尔书第二章二十六节里面讲到说，你们必多吃而得饱足。And you will praise the name of the Lord your God. Because God will work wonders for you. And never will you be ashamed. So this is the promise of God. God will restore to you what you have lost. Now, the second thing I want to share today is very important. God is not just going to restore what we have lost, God is going to restore our relationship with Him. My friends, listen very carefully. 朋友们听清楚了, God wants to restore your relationship with Him. He wants you to, to get stronger in your relationship with Him. And that's why verse 27 says, Then you will know that I am in Israel, that I am the Lord your God, and that there is no other, never again will my people be shamed. 二十七节里面说到说，你们必知道我是以色列中间，又知道我是耶和华你们的神，在我以外别无他神，我的百姓必永远不致羞愧。You see, we're going to know God for who He really is in our relationship. 
我们必须在我们的关系上去真正了解神的身份。But let me explain what it is not going to be. 让我来跟大家解释，那不会发生的事。It shall not be a head knowledge only. 它不应该只是我们头脑上的知识罢了。It is, it is not just a theoretical knowledge about God. 它也不应该只是一个理论上的知识，关乎于神。Sometimes we think we know God because, yeah, yeah, you know, God is real, God is love. We just know God, but it's in the head only. 有时候我们以为说我们认识神，我们知道神，我们知道说神他是爱神，他很美好等等。可是他只是一个知识上的认知。But in our own life, every day, there is no reality of God. 但是在我们的日常生活中，这个神并不真实。That was the problem of God's people long ago. 这个就是很久以前神的百姓面对的问题。And it is still a problem today. 但是到今天，它还是一个问题。Many Christians don't have a a close and personal relationship with God. 许多的基督徒并没有跟神建立一个跟很亲密的关系。We spend more time on Facebook than on the Bible book. 我们花了很多时间在面子书，而不是圣经。We spend more time, ah,、uh, you know, playing games on our phone than really meditating. On the word of God, we spent a lot of time playing phones, but we didn't meditate on God's word. Many Christians, after many years, still don't know how to pray. Many Christians, after many years, still don't know how to pray. Many Christians, after many years, still don't know how to pray. Many Christians, after many years, still don't know how to pray. Many Christians, after many years, still don't know how to pray. Many Christians, after many years, still don't know how to pray. Many Christians, after many years, still don't know how to pray. Many Christians, after many years, still don't know how to pray. Many Christians, after many years, still don't know how to pray. Many Christians, after many years, still don't know how to pray. Many Christians, after many years, still don't know how to pray. Many Christians, after many years, still don't know how to pray. Many Christians, after many years, still don't know how to pray. Many Christians, after many years, still don't know how to pray. Many Christians, after many years, still don't know how to pray. Many Christians, after many years, still don't know how to pray. Many Christians, after many years, still don't know how to pray. Many Christians, after many years, still don't know how to pray. Many Christians, after many You know, many Christians they may attend services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many Christians they may attend services after services, but they don't know God. Many To a personal relationship with God. Let us put our theological understanding into a real experience. And maybe many of you already have a relationship with God. And in 2020, it was getting stronger. Friends, in 2021, let us deepen our relationship with God. That maybe we have some friends who have already started to develop a relationship with God. That in 2020, you have already established a personal relationship with God. That in 2020, you have already established a personal relationship with God. That in 2020, you have already established a personal relationship with God. That in 2020, you have already established a personal relationship So God wants to restore to us a personal, intimate, and experiential knowledge of God. Because God wants to build us a very personal, very intimate, very experiential knowledge. It's a, it's a knowledge of God that is worked out in our daily lives. This kind of knowledge of God is what we can see in our daily lives. For example, when you are worried about something, maybe spend some time just to to focus on God and pray and tell God what you are worried about. Maybe spend some time just to to focus on God and pray and tell God what you are worried and ask God to help you. 打个比方，如果你很忧虑的话，那么你可以花一些时间来到神的面前祷告，求神帮助你挪走你的忧虑。Or maybe as you are doing your your work or your studies, you 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 find that God, I I I don't know how to to solve this work problem or this study problem. 又或者说你在工作上，在学业上，你你遇到了瓶颈，遇到了难题，你不懂得如何去去去解决的话，那么你可以告诉神说：“神，我不晓得要如何解决了。” So right there at your desk, you can just pray in your heart, God, please help me. 我们就可以在我们的桌子前面就跟神说：“神啊，你来帮助我。” Holy Spirit, you are my counselor. 圣灵，你就是我的保惠师。Please guide me in my study problem. 求你帮助我，让我能够解决我的学业上的问题。I guarantee, if if you have that kind of experiential life of talking with God. You will experience God's help more and more. 我可以向你保证，如果你可以在日常生活中可以这样子的跟神保持这份关系的话，那么你可以更多的经历到神。So God wants us to live in a continual state of His blessings. 神他要我们活在一个持续性可以领受他祝福的一个状态。Because God says you will have plenty to eat. 因为神他应许我们说，我们必必得多吃。You have abundance. 你将会有丰盛。You will not suffer lack. 你从不缺乏。You know Jesus' words was this. 这就是耶稣的话。I have come so that you may have abundant life. 我来到是要是要叫羊得生命。And when Jesus talk about abundance, it's not just physical possessions or food. 当神他讲到丰盛的生命的时候。并不会单单的指到说我们的食物或者我们的供应而已
A lot of preachers emphasize that. 有很多的讲员都会强调这一点。But I want to emphasize that, and more than that. 我要我要强调的是，还有更多的在背后。God wants us to have abundance in our relationship with Him. 神他要我们有一个很丰盛的关系，跟神的关系。An abundance of God's love for you. 跟神很丰盛的爱。You become secure in God. 你可以在神里面有一份很好的安全感。You, you know that you are loved by your heavenly Father. 你晓得说你很被你天上的父神爱。You step out of your insecurities. You can from your lack of security in this circle. No longer do you compare yourself with other people. You no longer 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 compare yourself with other people. And for yourself, you 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 are looking to your father in heaven for for his approval and for his encouragement. And we we ourselves, we are from God's side to receive that encouragement and that encouragement. So God wants to restore to you a relationship with Him. That God wants to restore to you a relationship with Him. That God wants to restore to you a relationship with Him. That God wants to restore to you a relationship with Him. That God wants to restore to you a relationship with Him. That God wants to restore So as I mentioned, this is an an experiential knowledge of the goodness of God. When we talk, we talk like I just said, this is an experiential knowledge of the goodness of God. You will have plenty to eat until you are full. The Bible tells us that you will have plenty to eat until you are full. That's experience. 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 We will not be saying, "Oh, what a bad year! Oh no, this is problem." We will not be saying, "Oh, what a bad year! Oh no, this is problem." We will not be saying, "Oh, what a bad year! Oh no, this is problem." We will not be saying, "Oh, what a bad year! Oh no, this is problem." We will not be saying, "Oh, what a bad year! Oh no, this is problem." We will not be saying, "Oh, what a bad year! Oh no, this is problem." We will not be saying, "Oh, what a bad year! Oh no, this is problem." We will not be saying, "Oh, what a bad year! Oh no, this And our heart has changed because our thinking has changed. 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 Our thinking has chang
。那我们不应该把我们的眼目专注于为什么那个车祸要发生，乃是跟神说：神，感谢你保守我。Thank you for protecting my children in the car. 感谢你保守我车里的小朋友。It's only the car that's damaged. 现在只是车坏了。Thank God that is covered by insurance. 感谢神，因为我们有保险。Thank God that we are alive. 感谢神，我们还活着。But even if you had an accident and you end up in hospital and unconscious for ten days, di 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 di. 纵使你遇到了车祸，然后最终你被送去了医院，昏迷了十天。When you wake up, you thank God. 当你醒起来的时候，你在一次苏醒的时候，你感谢神。Thank God you have good medical care. 感谢神，因为你有很好的医药治疗。Thank God you're alive. 感谢神，你还活着。That means that you have time on earth to serve God. 你表示说你还你在地上还有时间来服侍神。But what if after ten days, ding? That 如果十天之后你的心跳频率就停止了呢 ？Thank God, because you're going to be with Jesus. 感谢神，因为你回到耶稣的身边。Because God is in our lives, we see everything differently. 因着神在我们的生命当中，我们可以用不一样的角度看待事物。So let us be thankful to God every day. 让我们学习在日常生活当中，每一天都向神来感恩。Let us live praising God continually. 让我们学习每天都赞美神。You know, if you you begin to to praise God and thank God and see God's goodness in big and small ways every day, it will change you in your personality. 你知道吗？当你开始能够在日常大大小小的事情当中看见神的美好和感谢神，去赞美神的话，它会改变你的个性。You will be changing your identity. 你的身份也会将改变。You will no longer be ashamed. 你将不会感到羞愧。You will no longer suffer self-confidence problem. 你不会有任何的自信心缺乏的问题。You will no longer be afraid and and live in worries all the time. 你将不会活在那种很忧虑的状态当中。Now I didn't say we have no problems. 我并不会说我们不会遇到问题。We will still go through problems. 我们还会会遇到问题。But you know you have a God who loves you and cares for you and you can trust Him to work things out as you pray and trust Him. 但是你知道说你有一个神，他很爱你，他很在乎你。当你祷告的时候，他会为你开出一条道路。And and you become confident in your witness for God. 你可以开始在你为着你自己的软弱的事情，在神里面得到那一份刚强和信心。So you might still be a quiet person, but you are confident in God. 你可能也许还是一个很文静的人，但是你可以在神的面前非常的自信。Or you might be someone who is very active and talk loudly, but you also know your confidence is not in yourself, but it's in God. 也许你是那个很开朗、活泼、会会说很多话的，但是你知道说你的信心不来自于你自己，乃是来自于我们的神。So how how will God restore that kind of relationship for you and me? 那神他会如何去恢复你和我这份的关系呢 ？I want to quickly go to the George chapter two again and just help us to remember some key things. 我们要再来看一下这个约尔书第二章。我们来看一些关键的东西，使到我们可以记住这一些要点。First of all, we are called to return to God a hundred percent. 首先呢，我们是被呼召回来，百分之百回到神的跟前的。Joel two verse twelve says, "Even now, return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning." 在约尔书第二章十二节里面讲到说，耶和华说，虽然如此，你们应当进食，一心归向我。Secondly, we are called to remember the character of God. 那第二点，我们是需要来记住，我们被呼召是要记住神的属性的。Joel two verse thirteen says, "Return to the Lord your God, for He is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love." 第十三节里面讲到说，归向耶和华你们的神，因为他有恩典，有慈爱，不轻易发怒，有丰盛的慈爱。Thirdly, we are called to fast and pray. 那么第三点就是我们被召要进食祷告。Joel chapter two verse fifteen says, "Blow the trumpet in Zion, declare a holy fast, and call a sacred assembly." 在约尔书第二章十五节里面讲到说，你们要吹响，要要在西安吹角，分定进食的日子，宣告严肃会。The next thing is that we are called to consecrate or dedicate ourselves to God. 那接下来一点就是我们被呼召，就是要分别为圣献给神。You can find this in Joel chapter two verse sixteen. 你可以在约尔书第二章十六节里面看见 
So friends, the turning point will come, the restoration will come when we, we return to God fully. 朋友们，这个转捩点将会来到，这个复苏点将会来到，当我们愿意回转归向神。And that's where in verse 19, the Lord says, "I am sending you grain, new wine, and olive oil, enough to satisfy you fully, and never again will I make you an object of scorn to the nations." 第十呃约珥书第二章第十九节里面说到说，说我必赐给你们五谷、新酒和油，使你们饱足，我也不再使你们受列国的羞辱。So, friends, are you ready to go moving stronger with God in 2021? So, 朋友们，你已经预备好很刚强的前进吗？跟着神进入2021年。Maybe you have deepened your relationship with God in 2020, but 2021, you're ready to go deeper still. 那也许在2020年的时候，你已经跟神加深了这个份关系，但是2021年，你可以更加巩固这一份关系。Maybe, uh, in 2020, you feel very lost and very far away from God. 也许二零二零年你觉得非常的迷失，你觉得你非常的跟神的关系非常的远。Are you ready for a new beginning? 你是否预备好迈入一个新的开始 ？Are you ready to wake up like the prodigal son? 你是否愿意像那个那个流浪的浪子一样，他开始能够苏醒呢 ？And he began to re to return home. 开始回家。Come back to God. 回到神的面前。Come back to God. Imagine what can happen to you and me when we get serious with God. You can imagine when we are very serious about God, what can happen to us? Imagine what can change in our lives when we turn to God with all our hearts. Imagine what can change in our lives when we turn to God with all our hearts. Imagine what can change in our lives when we turn to God with all our hearts. Imagine what can change in our lives when we turn to God with all our hearts. Imagine what can change in our lives when we turn to God with all our hearts. Imagine what can change in our lives when we turn to God with all our hearts. Imagine what can change in our lives when we turn to God with all our hearts. Imagine what can change in our lives when we turn to God with all our hearts. Imagine what can change in our lives when we turn to God with all our hearts. Imagine what can change in our lives when we turn to God with all our hearts. Imagine what can change in our lives when we turn to God with all our hearts. Imagine what can change in our lives when we turn to God with all our hearts. Imagine what can change in our lives when we turn to God with all our hearts. Imagine what can change in our lives when we turn to God with all our hearts. Imagine what can change in our lives when we turn to God with all our hearts. Imagine what can change in our If you are ready for that, 如果你预备好的话 ，I I want to invite those who are ready to take communion to join me right now. 我要邀请那一些已经预备好要来领圣餐的人一起来。But if if you are joining us for the first time or you are not a Christian yet, you know I want to lead you to pray in a little while. 那如果你还不是基督徒，你还没有预备好要领受的话，等一下我们会跟你一起祷告。But Jesus has given us the simple symbol of the bread and the cup. Jesus, He has given us a simple symbol of the bread and the cup. Jesus, He has given us a simple symbol of the bread and the cup. Jesus, He has given us a simple symbol of the bread and the cup. Jesus, He has given us a simple symbol of the bread and the cup. Jesus, He has given us a simple symbol of the bread and the cup. Jesus, He has given us a simple symbol of the bread and the cup. Jesus, He has given us a simple symbol of the bread and the cup. Jesus, He has given us a simple symbol of the bread and the cup. Jesus, He has given us a simple symbol of the bread and the cup. Jesus, He has given us a simple symbol of the bread and the cup. Jesus, He has given us a simple symbol of the So spiritually, through Jesus Christ, we have spiritual energy and spiritual life. 那透过耶稣，我们可以有一个属灵的能量。And just as we drink of this cup, 就好像我们领受这个杯 ，it it it gives life to our body as well. 它赐给我们生命力。So too is the the death of Jesus on the cross that gives life to us. 就好像耶稣在十字架上。他也赐给我们崭新的生命。So on the night when Jesus was betrayed, he said he took the 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 bread and the cup. 在耶稣被卖的那一天晚上，他拿起了饼和杯。He said, "Take this and eat of it." 他说要来领，你要领受这个。This is a reminder of my body that is given for you. 这是一个纪念，我为你们所舍的身体。Let's eat of it right now. 让我们一起领受。And then Jesus took the cup. 饭后，耶稣拿起了杯。He said, "Take this and drink of this." 你要领受这杯。This is the blood of my covenant. 因为这是我的新约的血。Through the shedding of my blood, it will give you forgiveness for your sins. 透过我所流出的宝血，可以赦免你的罪。Let us drink right now. 让我们一起来领受。Let us pray together. Let 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 us pray together. Because your word will give us the confidence to step forward. Because your word will give us the confidence to step forward. Because your word will give us the confidence to step forward. Because your word will give us the confidence to step forward. Because your word will give us the confidence to step forward. Because your word will give us the confidence to step forward. Because your word will give us
And no matter what happens, it's going to be a good year. 不管前面发生什么，前面有什么事情要等待我们，将会是一个美好的一年。Because you're the good of goodness. 因为我们知道说神你是美好的神。And your light and glory shines upon us. 神你的亮光将会照耀我们。We pray for our friends who do not know you right now. 我们为着那些还没有认识你的人来祷告。That they will turn to you 100 percent. 他们将会一百八千的回转归向神你。To call on the name of the Lord Jesus. 可以来呼求主耶稣你的圣名。And they shall be saved. 让他们可以得救。Friends, if 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 you come to Jesus Christ right now, 朋友们，如果你此刻要回转归向耶稣基督的话 ，wherever you are， 不管你在哪儿 ，you just say Lord Jesus， 你就跟神说主耶稣 ，I believe you are the Son of God， 我相信你是耶神的孩子 ，who died for my sins， 为我的罪而死 ，and on the third day you rose again from the dead， 第三天从死里复活 ，and I believe that through you my sins are forgiven。我相信说，透过你，我的罪得赦免。Through you, my past history is dealt with. 透过你，我过往的所有的事情已经被处理了。And through you, Jesus, I have a new beginning. 透过耶稣基督，我也有一个崭新的生命。I'm ready to begin today. 我预备好，今天要开始。Now, if you have listened to that and prayed it in your heart, welcome to God's kingdom. 如果你已经听到了这一篇东这这一个祷也并且祷告了的话，那么我们欢迎你加入我们。Please contact us. 你可以来联系我们。We love to help you to grow in your walk with God. 我们将会帮助你在与神的旅程当中去成长。So in this beginning of the year, make time to have personal restoration. 所以在这今年的年初开始的时候，我们花时间来恢复跟神的关系。God will restore what you have lost. 神他必然要恢复你所失去的。Why don't you take time to talk to God about that? 何不花一些时间来到神的面前跟神来对话呢 ？And secondly. God wants you to come back to Him fully. 那第二点就是神，他要你全心全意的回转归向他。So until next week, ah,、uh, God bless you. 那到下个星期，愿神祝福大家。Remember to join us next week as we talk about missional restoration. 不要忘记参加我们下个星期，我们将会讲到使命上的复苏。God bless you and bye bye. 神祝福大家，再见。Hi, HMM family. I want to extend to you. A very merry, happy Christmas, and a wonderful 2021 to come. I trust that the Lord has been really protecting you and watching over you. This has been a year of uncertainty, a year of great upheavals. You know, a little virus has wreaked havoc upon strong governments, upon families, upon individuals. It has brought so much disasters upon the world. If anything, of this year, we realize that there is a sense of urgency. Therefore, for us to communicate the gospel message, there is good news within us, which the Lord has put within us. And so, therefore, in this year-end message, I would like to take just a few minutes to talk to us about our faith and about our hope, which is stronger, far more victorious than what the world. Is experiencing right now, Hebrews chapter eleven verses one to three. It reads this way: Faith is being sure of what we hope for, and being certain of what we do not see. And the ancients were commended for that. I like to continue to encourage us to have a faith that will certainly defeat these circumstances around us, brothers and sisters. Let us channel our faith to a to believe for a victory that some of us are seeing, some of us are definitely going to experience more of it. And even if you are not certain, I would like you to possess this faith and be commended in this season for it. As we close the year, I also want to encourage us to be filled with a sense of hope, hope that is anchored upon Jesus, hope. That is unshakable, and let us bring this hope to a world that is looking for a greater sense of certainty, stability, and we have this message of hope that does not fluctuate with circumstances, that's not dependent on what is ahead of us, but is dependent on Christ, and with Christ as the head in our lives, in our church, in our community, I believe we will weather. This storm victoriously. I like to rally us to rise above the ashes of hopelessness and uncertainties. 
Let us continue God's mission because that hasn't changed. Let's proclaim God's message. And at a year end, as we believe towards the new year, let's continue to pass on to our community a certainty that is in Christ. Brothers and sisters, I want to encourage us to continue the mission of discipling our people and also for the next generation. I want to encourage us to continue to share the gospel, the good news, and I want to encourage us to pass on a, a, a vision in our lives. God is going to be victorious. Therefore, let us wreak havoc on the kingdom of darkness instead of allowing this virus to wreak havoc upon us. I want to uh, encourage us, turn it around. Amen. This year also marked my 65th year that I've lived. And it also has been 10 years since I've done the presidency of HIM. I have sought the Lord, I have prayed over the years, and I have, together with the leadership in our discussion, we have come to a conclusion that it is good to pass on the presidency to Pastor Wilson. So come January 2021, Pastor Wilson will take on the presidency of HIM family. And together with him, I also would like to welcome Pastor Dennis, who will also join the eldership of HIM. Let's welcome Pastor Wilson, welcome Pastor Dennis, who has served with me in many, many years in Hope Kuching, and we have painted the church together. Let's welcome them, let's cheer them on, let's support them to continue to lead the movement to a next level, a higher level in God. As for me, I will continue in God's mission. I will continue to desire to see churches being planted according to the vision that I committed myself to more than 30 years ago. And I'll be visiting churches. I'll have a time to have coffee with you and talk about the work of God enthusiastically. Amen. So in conclusion and closing, I really want to rally us, celebrate the end of the year victoriously with faith and hope. And let's look forward to 2021 with a certainty in our heart that Jesus will enable His church to be stronger. And we will still continue to plant churches and impact the communities, uh, communities around the world. Amen. God bless you. Hi everyone, Happy New Year! In 2020, an unseen virus caused havoc in the lives of individuals, families, communities, and nations. Hi, 大家好,新年快乐!在2020年当中,一个看不见的病毒打败了许多的个体,许多的家庭,许多的社群和国家. But in the same vein, faith, which is hope in the unseen God, is even more powerful. This year, let us choose to place our hope and faith in our wonderful God. Today, Pastor Dennis shared part one of our new sermon series called Vision 21, Moving Strong. Our vision this year is moving strong. This year, let us remember that He is a God of restoration. He can restore all that is stolen from us and cause us to move on strong in the Lord in 2021. As a church, we want to move stronger together to build strong disciples who hear God, obey God, and help others to hear God and obey God as well. So let's keep on ho 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 and keep on moving strong in 2021. Even in this new year, let us remember that whatever we give to God, He can multiply it. As we give of our finances today, give thanks to Him for 2020 and commit all your dreams for 2021 to Him. 
当我们在我们的金钱上给予我们的神的时候，让我们为这二零二零年来感恩神，也为着我们二零二一年的梦想交托于神。To give of your tithe and offering, refer to the various channels to give, which is on your screen right now. 如果你要给你的奉献和其他的奉献的话，那么你现在可以参考屏幕上面所展示出来的管道。Let's give with cheerful and thankful hearts. 让我们甘心乐意的给予我们的神。The Bible reading plan for January is now available for download from our website. 那新一月份的新的圣经阅读计划可以在我们的网站下载。Our general January Bible reading plan focuses on the three patriarchs: Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 我们正月份的圣经阅读计划将会专注于三个圣经人物，就是亚伯拉罕、撒和雅各。In the scriptures, God calls Himself, "I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob." 在圣经里面，神呼称呼他自己为亚伯拉罕的神、以撒的神和雅各的神。Why are they highlighted by God? Find out more in the Bible reading plan. You can find out more in the Bible reading plan. You can find out more in the Bible reading plan. Next week, we shall continue on to part two of Vision Twenty One, Moving Strong. Next week, we will continue on to part two of Vision Twenty One, Moving Strong. Next week, we will continue on to part two of Vision Twenty One, Moving Strong. Next week, we will continue on to part two of Vision Twenty One, Moving Strong. Next week, we will continue on to part two of Vision Twenty One, Moving Strong. 我们的牧师将会跟我们分享关乎于意向的复苏在教会当中。Let us be filled with hope this,、uh, with this rima word for this year. 让我们为着神这一个瑞玛的话语带来希望。Hope for restoration of all that is lost and moving stronger together in 2021. 我们要盼望着神他会复苏我们一切所失去的，并且刚强的迈进2021年。So thank you for joining us this week for our online service. 谢谢你参与我们这个星期的线上崇拜。See you again next Sunday. 我们下个星期见。God bless and we love you. 神爱你，我们爱你。